Hello everyone, I'm Ben Hertz, coordinator of the European Schoolnet Academy. I'm going to briefly show you in this video how to complete a peer review activity. You can see here that there are three stages to this activity. The first stage, hand in your task, is when you have to hand in your own work. The second stage, you have to review your colleagues. And in the third stage, you can access any reviews that have been done about your own work. Now below this, you can see the deadline for the submission of your own work. Make sure to hand in your work before this deadline as it is impossible to receive an extension. The whole system is automatic, so once the deadline is over, you won't be able to hand in your work anymore. Now below this, you have the most important part really. This is the text box where you can submit any work that you want to submit as part of this activity. Now on most of our courses, we ask you to submit a lesson plan for the peer review activity. So the important thing is that you paste your lesson plan link in this text box. You can get that link directly from the learning designer, which is the tool that we usually ask you to use when you prepare a lesson plan. So I've already got a text here and what you can see here, this is really the most important bit. So here's the link to my lesson plan and this is the link. Provide a bit of context for the lesson plan. So tell your review a bit about yourself, the context in which you teach. What type of age group do you teach? What type of class size do you teach? What kind of technology do you have in the classroom? What kind of other equipment do you have in your classroom? So here you have a very short text. It doesn't have to be long. Just a few sentences giving a bit of context to the reviewer that makes it easier for them to be able to review the task, uh, the lesson plan that you have submitted. Now, finally, it is absolutely essential that you click here on the hand in task button. Otherwise, your submission won't be counted. And now I'm going to click the hand in task button. You will get a quick warning message. So that's really the last chance for you to correct anything that you haven't done yet. Um, and then make sure you click again the hand in task button. And sometimes it can take a bit, but you should then, this screen should disappear and you have successfully handed in your task. Voila, here we go. Now onto stage two, once you have submitted your work, you will have to wait at least until the next day to do the reviews of other people's work. The system automatically allocates the work between you around 1 a.m. in the morning every day. So if you go back to the activity here, you can now see that we are at stage two, review your colleagues. Now below here, you can see that there are two reviews waiting for us to be done. In this case, um, they are both the work of a test account that we use. Um, but in your case, this will be work from two different people who have also been participating on the course. Now, in order to look at their work and to do the review, you have to click on the plus sign. So I did that for the first one here. Now, this is what the person has submitted. You will notice it's the same text as we showed you in stage one. Now, what I would have to do is I would um, have to copy this link here, have a look at the lesson plan that this person has submitted, and then based on that lesson plan, I would have to write a review down here in this text box. So just gonna follow through this now and going to post a review here. So voila. Now, very important, again, as in stage one, you need to make sure you click this review button. If you do not click this review button, the system won't recognize that you have done the review. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Again, you will get a warning box that allows you to review what you have written as the review and make sure you still click the review button again here. Again, it takes sometimes a bit of time, but as before, this box here should disappear and your review should be recognized. So you will now see that um, the text box here has appeared that the review has been recorded and we can proceed with step three. 
Now in the third stage, it's pretty simple. You should receive an email that confirms that your task has been reviewed or assessed by a colleague. And you can then just visit this section here again and click on reviews received and you will see two reviews have been made by colleagues on the course. You just again click on the heading here or the plus and the minus sign and that will show you the review that has been submitted by your colleague.